do you think is the most precious thing in the world? I think that statue of a prince over there might know the answer. Let's go find out. The Happy Prince In the middle of a large city, sit a statue of a prince. His body was covered with gold. Huge gems were set in his eyes and in his sword. The people of the city were very proud of their statue. One day, a swallow flying to a warm southern country stopped to rest at the feet of the prince. He felt a large drop of water fall on his head. He looked up and saw that the statue was crying. Dear Prince, why are you crying? A sick child lives far away from here. He has nothing to eat. He drinks only water. The prince wished to give the ruby in his sword to the child. The swallow offered to take it to the child on behalf of the stone prince. The swallow left the ruby on the sleeping child's pillow. Now the child won't be hungry. The swallow had done a good deed and felt proud and happy. The next day, the prince asked the swallow for another favor. Can you see that young man on the bench over there? He wants to become a painter, but he's too poor to buy paints. I feel very sorry for him, dear prince. Swallow, please take a gem from one of my eyes. Give it to the young man. So, the swallow stayed one more day and granted the prince's request. Now, the swallow prepared to fly south. He said farewell to the prince. Swallow, would you do me one more favor? Please take the gem from my other eye to the little match girl. But then you won't be able to see at all. That's all right. I'm happy to be able to help the poor. So the swallow reluctantly took the last gem from the prince's eye. He took it to the little match girl. Now, the prince couldn't see at all. So the swallow decided to remain with him and not fly south. I will be your eyes, dear prince. The swallow told the prince what was going on around him in the city. One day, the swallow saw two children under a bridge. They were trembling with the cold. The swallow told the prince about them. The prince told the swallow to peel off a piece of his gold and give it to them. From then on, the prince continued to share his gold with the poor. Time flew past. The statue of the prince became dull and gray. All the gold and gems were gone. The swallow could no longer bear the cold. His small body was beginning to freeze. Goodbye, dear prince. Will you fly south now? No, no. I'm going to heaven. The swallow died at the feet of the prince. The people were no longer proud of the statue of the prince. They decided to melt it down in a hot furnace. 
Then one day, God ordered his angel to bring him the two most precious things in the world. The angel brought the frozen body of the swallow and the heart of the stone prince, which had not melted in the furnace. You have indeed brought the most precious things. Good. The prince and the swallow lived happily ever after in heaven. The prince gave everything he had to help the poor. He truly knew what was most precious. It's the warm heart that eases other people's lives.